So the first thing that we're going to go over is what's the difference between congruency and similarity? So let's talk about congruent first. So congruent. Congruent is when the sides are congruent and their angles are congruent. So when their sides and angles are the same. So sides and angles are the same. Then we talk about similar. Similar is when the two figures, when their sides are proportional and their angles are congruent. So angles are the same. but sides are proportional. So what requirements are there for shapes to be similar? So first requirement are proportional sides, proportional sides, and the second one is congruent angles. Remember, congruent means the same. If you are confused on what proportional sides means, if I have a triangle that I have a side that's 2 and a side that's 4, proportional would be this side is 4 and this side is 8. So I can multiply 2 by 2 to get 4 and 4 by 2 to get 8. So they are proportional. So draw a picture of the two triangles. So I have triangle ABC. So ABC. And I have triangle DEF. So DEF. So here's what I'm going to tell you about the two triangles. In triangle ABC, angle A is congruent with angle D. Angle B is congruent with angle E. And angle C is congruent with angle F. Okay? That, so you know that they're congruent when they have the same number of curves on them for the angles. So which angle corresponds to angle A? Angle D. Which angle corresponds to angle B? Angle E. And which angle corresponds to angle C? Angle F. Now we talk about sides. It's not saying which one is congruent. It's saying which one corresponds. This could be the same thing as which one is proportional. So which side corresponds to side AB? Side DE. Notice how I did D first, not E. It's because it should go in order with which angle is proportionate. Which side corresponds to BC? E, F. The line over it means side length. And which side corresponds to AC? D, F. Fill in the missing information <clears throat> in the chart below. So if Measure of angle A is 31. That means that measure of angle D is also 31. If measure of angle F is 73, that means that measure of angle C is also 73. And measure of angle B, in order to find B and E, we have to do some math. So remember that all sides in a triangle add to equal 180 degrees. So we take 180, we subtract 31, so this becomes 149, and then we subtract 73, and now I have 76 degrees is what measure of angle E and measure of angle B. You'll notice, though, now we're looking at side lengths. The side lengths are not the same, which means they are proportional. So if the side length and... Oh, sorry, there is a typo here. This should not be 5. This should be 4. So if BC 
is proportionate to EF, and BC is 8, but EF is 4. That means you're cutting it in half. So AB corresponds to E, so that means it's going to have to be 2.5, and 12, half of that is 6. So the scale factor is 1 half. Which transformation will result in a figure that is similar but not congruent? Dilation. Remember, because that's the only one that the figure is not exactly the same.